Never fear, Cinders is here. And today I have a Slice of Life video for you. Now I know a lot of these Slice of Life videos have centered at least partly around Gohan. And a large part of that is because I really do think Gohan is the best character through which Dragon Ball can make statements about humanity. And today we want to talk in particular about Gohan's latent potential. You know, one of the main themes that runs through Dragon Ball Z is Gohan's hidden potential. That he has this huge potential to be so much stronger than everybody else. And so we see his potential get triggered by anger multiple times. We see it unlocked. We see it unleashed. We see characters try and draw it out of him. And most of the time, he pulls it out. And we get to see this huge burst of actualized power come out of his latent potential energy. However, we get to Dragon Ball Super and Gohan's not being pushed to pull out his potential energy anymore. We get a situation where Piccolo dies and he seems like he's going to go and train and start trying to pull out some of that energy. But we don't actually get to find out how much stronger he got during that training session. We don't know. We get to know Piccolo got stronger as they sparred together, but we don't know how much stronger Gohan got. Most likely, it's still nowhere near Goku and Vegeta's level, but we don't know. But he's not making any effort to pull out that latent potential. And I think there's a reason that Super is doing that. Now, maybe at some point, something will happen. I know there are a lot of people who are Gohan fans. And I'll admit, I want to see it happen at some point in the future, too. Where something's going to trigger Gohan to decide he wants to pull out his potential. And that he's going to work hard to pull out his own potential. But in the meantime, his potential is going to waste because he does not have the desire to try and maximize his potential. And I think that makes a huge statement about life in general, people in general. There's a lot of people out there that have the potential to do a lot of good things, a lot of talented things, but they waste their potential. They don't make the best of it. They've made some decision which keeps them from even thinking about trying to maximize their potential in whatever it is, whether it's in a sport, whether it's in studies for a language or mathematics. You know, working on my master's, I learned I don't have a lot of potential towards learning languages. I can get a grasp around how, how they function. But I'm not real good at memorizing vocabulary. I probably maxed out a lot of my potential when it came to soccer. I got to college and I played for my college my freshman year on the soccer team. But I think I maxed out most of my potential there. And it didn't look like I was going to be able to get any farther. And so I made a decision to focus on my schoolwork instead of trying to get better at soccer. But you know, it's possible I could have been wrong and I had more potential. And if I had worked at it, I could have gotten much better. I don't know the answer to that one. Instead, I chose to focus on my studies, to focus on things I knew I had potential on. And I focused on that way and I went that direction. But Gohan had multiple plays in which he had potential. He has potential intellectually, and he has potential as a fighter to raise his key 
to extremely high levels and be really strong. He has both kinds of potential. He made a choice to focus on his studies to, to maximize that potential and neglect the other kind of potential he had. He made a choice. He worked on one kind of potential and neglects the other. A lot of us do that. We make a choice and we choose to neglect a certain kind of potential we may have. Or we may, we may never realize sometimes that we have that potential. But in Gohan's case, he does know he has that potential. I mean, even Vegeta in Super makes the comment that Gohan has more potential than either of them, being Goku or himself. Gohan has more potential than them. But Gohan has no desire to focus on increasing that potential. He's hit a level where he said, I should be good enough. I should be fine at this level of actualized ability. And sometimes we get that way. We think, I've gotten to a certain point, I don't need to be better. Best, I like Michael Jordan, they never stop practicing. They're out there every day working and getting better, which is what Goku and Vegeta do. They may not have the potential of Gohan, but because they work at it constantly, they're stronger, they're better, they're faster. Because they're continuing to work with what potential they do have to increase their abilities. So I kind of want to push, put it to you to think about what potential you know you have. What things do you think you can do really well? But you have the potential to do well. Maybe there's more than one. And you may have to make a choice. Which one do I focus on? I will tell you, very few people can bring out all the potential they have in every different way. You have a choice in your life. What potential do you recognize in yourself? And how are you gonna which one are you gonna choose to work at, to make the most of? Hopefully you will choose to make the most of some kind of potential. There are people out there who sit on their rear end and do nothing. Who, who think the world should give me what I deserve just because I have potential. No, you've got to work at it. If you want to maximize and turn that potential into something successful, you have to work at it. You can't just sit there and say, I've got potential, that's all I need. No. Just like you've got potential energy and kinetic energy, that potential energy does no good until it's turned into kinetic energy to do something. If you've got potential, it's not going to get you anywhere. You know, you can have 160-something IQ. You can have 135 IQ like I've got. But if you waste it, it does no one any good. It does you no good. It does anyone around you no good. If you don't harness it into something, convert it into something useful, you could have all the potential in the world. And it'll get you nowhere. Well, this is Super Saiyan 7 Sindersh. Hope those thoughts are meaningful to you. You'll take something from what I had to say in this video. Hope you'll check out my other content. And I'll be back with more in the near future. So thank you for listening. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super are property of... Funimation, Viz TV, Fuji TV, Toei Animation, and Dragon Ball Z Abridged is the property of Team Four Star. Of course, all of it. The initial creator for them was Akira Toriyama. Please check out their content.